Hi boys and girls, Nana Sharon here with Bella and Posey and Papa is behind the camera. Today I want to read you a story, so let's sit down, fold our hands, and get ready to listen. This book is Walt Disney's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. One morning Winnie the Pooh was on his way to visit his friend Piglet. Although Pig Pooh's head was stuffed with fluff, he was a cheerful fellow. As he walked along through the woods, he was humming a song to himself. Pooh did not look where he was going, and all of a sudden, someone bounced into him. Pooh found himself flat on the ground. Tigger was sitting on his tummy. Hello, Pooh, said Tigger. It's a fine day for bouncing. Tigger helped Pooh get up. Thank you, Tigger, said Pooh. I was just thinking it's a fine day for going to visit Piglet. I was on my way to see Rabbit, said Tigger, but I will come along with you. And Tigger bounced away. Tigger bounced on ahead of Pooh. He bounced so fast and he bounced so far that he bounced right into Piglet. Tigger, cried Piglet, you scared me. I'm sorry, said Tigger, and he helped Piglet get up. Now I'm off to see Rabbit, said Tigger. Why don't you and Pooh come with me? And away he bounced again. Tigger bounced into Rabbit's garden. Rabbit was busy counting his carrots. Suddenly, Tigger bounced right on top of him. Hello there, Rabbit, said Tigger. Tigger, you're a pest, cried Rabbit. When Pooh and Piglet reached the garden, they helped Rabbit to his feet. Rabbit was very angry at Tigger. Why are you always so bouncy, he cried. Bouncing is what I do best, said Tigger, and he began to sing. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made of rubber and their tails are made of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, full of fun, fun, fun. The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. By the time Tigger bounced away, Rabbit's whole garden was ruined. Later that day, Rabbit came up with a splendid idea for unbouncing Tigger. He told Pooh and Piglet about it. We will take him on a long explore and leave him in the woods, said Rabbit. We go back to get him the next morning. Tigger will not be so bouncy. What a splendid idea, said Piglet. What do you think, Pooh? But Pooh was sitting in a cozy chair and had fallen fast asleep. Piglet poked him. I think it's a splendid idea, said Pooh, after Piglet told him about it. The very next day, Rabbit and Pooh and Piglet took Tigger into the woods. When we come back to get Tigger tomorrow, said Rabbit, the bounces will all be gone. He'll be a sad Tigger. He'll be a sorry Tigger. A oh, Rabbit, I'm so glad to see you, Tigger. Tigger bounced further and further away. He did not know about Rabbit's idea to leave him in the woods. The three friends found a hollow log. Quick, said Rabbit, hide inside, and they climbed into the log. Tigger soon came back to look for them. Hello, he called. No one answered. Tigger stood on top of the log. He called to his friends again, and they did not answer. They must be lost, thought Tigger, and he bounced away to find them. As soon as Tigger was out of sight, Rabbit, Pooh, and Piglet started home. After a while, they came to a sand pit. Something is wrong, said Piglet. I'm sure we passed by here before. Nonsense, said Rabbit. Keep walking. Soon they came to the sand pit again. I believe we're lost, said Pooh. We have been looking for home, but we keep finding this sand pit. Maybe if we start looking for the sand pit, we'll find our way home. 
I'm sure I know the way, said Rabbit. You two wait, and I'll find it. Pooh and Piglet waited, and they waited, and they waited. But Rabbit did not come back. At last, Pooh took Piglet's hand. Let's follow my tummy, said Pooh. Whenever I get hungry for honey, my tummy leads me home. Sure enough, Pooh's tummy found the way. Just as they came out of the woods, Tigger bounced into them. Oh, Tigger, said Pooh, Rabbit is lost in the woods. Tiggers never get lost, said Tigger. I'll go back and find him, and he bounced away. Meanwhile, Rabbit was all alone in the darkest part of the woods. He was very, very lost. Every time he looked around, he thought he saw someone watching him, and he heard all kinds of scary sounds. Peck, peck of the woodpecker, hoot of the owl, a chomp of the grasshopper, croak of the frog, and hiss of the snake. Then Rabbit heard some one creeping in the bushes. Help, Pooh! Help, Piglet! He shouted. Boom! Suddenly he was bounced to the ground. Tigger! Rabbit cried. I'm so glad to see you! Tigger led Rabbit out of the woods. Poor Rabbit, his splendid idea for unbouncing Tigger had not worked out very well. Bright and early the next morning, Tigger went to Kanga's house. Kanga was busy sweeping the yard. May I take Roo for a walk with me? asked Tigger. Of course, dear, said Kanga. As Tigger bounced along, Roo rode on his back. Can Tiggers climb trees? asked Roo. That's what Tiggers do best, said Tigger. I'll show you. Tigger found a tall tree and he bounced from branch to branch. He bounced up. Ooh, Tigger squealed Roo. He bounced higher. Ooh, Tigger squealed Roo. He kept bouncing higher and higher. Soon they were near the top of the tree. When Tigger looked down, he was very scared. How did this tree get so high, he cried. Isn't this fun, said Roo. No, said Tigger. I forgot to tell you, Tiggers can't climb down. Hooray, squealed Roo. We'll stay here forever. Just at that moment, Pooh and Piglet came by. They happened to look up in the tree, and Piglet whispered to Pooh, there's a jaguar. Are jaguars fierce animals, cried Piglet. I'm not really sure, said Pooh. Let's walk a bit closer and see. When Pooh and Piglet reached the tree, they saw Tigger and Roo near the top. Hello, called Roo. Tigger is stuck. Don't worry, called Tigger called Pooh. We'll get Christopher Robin. He'll think of a way to rescue you. Before long, Christopher Robin appeared. He ran to the tree with Rabbit and Kanga. I do hope Tigger has learned his lesson, said Rabbit. Maybe he'll stop bouncing now. Christopher Robin took off his coat. He told everyone to hold on to a corner so Roo could jump in it. After Roo came tumbling down, Christopher Robin called up to Tigger. Now it's your turn to jump, he said. Tiggers don't jump, they bounce, said Tigger. But if I ever get down from here, I promise never to bounce again. Did you hear that, cried Rabbit? He promised to stop bouncing. Tigger closed his eyes and let go of the tree, and down, 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 he fell. He landed on the coat with such a thump that everyone fell backward. Tigger was happy to be down, and he started to bounce. But Rabbit held up his hand. No bouncing, Tigger, he said. You promised never to bounce again. That's right, said Tigger. I did. 
Tigger began to walk away without his bounces. He was a very sad Tigger indeed. Roo watched his unhappy friend. I like the old bouncy Tigger better, he said. So do I, dear, said Kanga. So do I, said Pooh and Piglet. Everyone looked at Rabbit. Well, said Rabbit, so do I, I guess. All of a sudden, Tigger came bouncing back. Do you really mean it, Rabbit, he cried. May I have my bounces back? Yes, said Rabbit, I really mean it. Hooray, and off he bounced, happy to be his bouncy old self again.